With the white paper we gave uh, patients the opportunity to finally have their voices heard. Um, this project focused on type 2 inflammation. Asthma, CRS with nasal polyps and atopic dermatitis are chronic and disabling diseases with a common underlying disease mechanism called type 2 inflammation. And these type 2 inflammatory diseases often coexist. So what we've done is by conducting one-to-one -one interviews with patients with asthma, uh, serious with nasal polyps and atopic dermatitis all over uh, Europe. We explored the impact that these diseases um, had on the patient's uh, qualities of life. And we also um, took the time to ask them um, how did they experience their um, received health care. Uh, we asked them what are your ideas um, about the current shortcomings or limitations of care and how can we um, improve these health care in, in the future. So the white paper elucidates the burden of uh, type 2 inflammatory diseases and besides the well-known symptoms, patients also reported, uh, for example, sleep disturbance, sexual inhibition, missed work days, but also depression as comorbidities or symptoms, um, which of course had an important impact on their uh, quality of life. The white paper um, also clearly document that in fact these patients uh, with asthma, um, CRS with nasal polyps and atopic dermatitis, in fact they um, have the same unmet needs. And patients also, um, also suggested multiple solutions to overcome these uh, shortcomings and these frustrations. First of all, patients mentioned the need um, of a reorganization of current healthcare because to date asthma, serious with nasal polyps and atopic dermatitis are um, often treated as separate entities um, and patients also reported that um, oftentimes physicians focused on one um, part of their body with um, overlooking of the other comorbidities and their mental well-being. In that aspect it would be beneficial um, for both patients as for the efficiency of treatment if disciplines would work more closely together to treat the patient uh, as a whole. And this uh, multidisciplinary approach can be addressed through the implementation of integrated care pathways. And patients also um, hoped to receive more um, awareness and financial means for their um, disease, an improved access of, of personalized treatments and of psychosocial um, and psychological services would have a major impact on their quality of life. And then the last uh, thing was that patients um, themselves felt that they had a lack of knowledge of their um, disease. And this, of course, is unfavorable for their um, therapy compliance, but also for the detection and the prevention of their disease. And Euphoria already um, undertook a lot of initiatives uh, to educate patients. We have a reliable website with some very uh, reliable information and we are currently also developing some other patient materials to empower patients to uh, participate in, um, their, in the treatment decisions. Mm -hmm.